everybody, it's Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the HiCam S6, which is the little brother to the HiCam A7. Uh, this is a smaller camera, it's not for outside, it's not water resistant, but uh, nonetheless, I was really, really satisfied with the HiCam A7, so I figured I'd get a smaller camera for the inside of the house. So let's open it up. Let's see what comes inside the box. So let's see, we'll get our knife here and we'll cut the, cut the little uh, tab here that seals the box and we'll open it up. And that's what it looks like inside. And the camera right here. It's nicely made. It's, uh, it's got a nicely um, weighted base and, uh, and that's basically what the camera looks like. And um, I just want to add, uh, the company that manufactures this is based in Germany. So it's got German engineering and technology, but it's manufactured in China. So uh, it's got the best world as far as design and um, the optics uh, and it's made in China. So see there's a little white thing on there. But other than that, there's a, also a little microphone and uh, let's see what else is inside the box. You've got the setup instructions and it comes on a one sheet. And this is also available online how to set it up. And then underneath, there's a little flap in here, and you pull that out. And on here, you've got some hardware to uh, mount it to a wall or to a ceiling or whatever. So you've got three screws and three inserts for your wall. You've got a power supply, which is a USB power supply. You've got uh, your cable, which is your USB type A to a uh, U, um, USB mini. Um, and then you also have this little thing that looks like a paper clip, but it's probably for cleaning out uh, either the little microphone hole or for resetting the camera. Now, as you know, I just opened up the box and I haven't read the directions yet. So I really don't know what this is for, but uh, I will follow up later and, and tell you what this is for. I would have to say I was very impressed with the HiCam S6. The camera looks really, really sharp. The color is great and it's small enough that if you take it out of the holder, you can conceal it. And that's what I did with mine. It was relatively easy to set up. Uh, I install the software on my cell phone. I uh, use the manual mode as opposed to the automatic setup mode where you take the number that's on the actual camera and you enter it into the software. And then what ends up happening is, is it recognizes it, it links, and then there you are. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a couple of quick shots. Uh, this is a shot of what it looks like when it first comes up on your phone. Now, I've got an A7 on there, and I also have the S6. So, this is your first menu. Then what ends up happening is, is you push on the camera that you want to see, and then uh, it says it's going to connect. And then this is what the picture looks like. Uh, it's a great camera and uh, I like using it and I also like using the A7. So until next time, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews. Please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. Bye-bye.